Hello everyone, my name is Jason Berry with the Digital Health Wire Show and it is day two of health, but the trade show floor just opened and my first stop is with Withings Health Solutions and I am joined by Antoine Robillard, who is their VP of Withings Health Solutions. Here we have some exciting news to share today. Yes, cool Jason, thank you, thank you for stopping by. We're very excited today because we're announcing a new product. This product here, the BPM Pro 2, that is a cellular blood pressure monitor and for the first time it collects both clinical grade readings and patient reported outcomes. It's a device that we've developed with care teams and for care teams uh, to empower them to scale their remote patient monitoring programs by one, streamlining their workflows, two, improving the patient experience, and three, improving their confidence on each single measurement that they receive. And what are, what are some of the features that patients and care teams have to look forward to with your new device? Yeah, definitely. I'll talk about two that, that are the most important. Uh, so how did we do all, the, all this? The, we talked with a lot of care teams, a lot of people that remotely monitor patients to understand their workflows, to understand what do they do on a daily basis. Um, and what we realized is that they spend a lot of time on phone calls, on repetitive tasks that probably we can help with. Um, I'll give you an example. Care teams spend a lot of time calling patients to try to understand why is the measurement high? A blood pressure reading, why is it high? Um, and sometimes, actually often, it's because the measurement was not taken in the right condition by the patient. I'll show you. So I'm here, I'm a patient. I'm the, the you need a shot to patient, I have you covered too. Yeah, we, you can be the back <laughs> patient. I, I'm going to need you to use that arm. All right. All right. So we're launching here a blood pressure, a blood pressure reading. But first, we are telling you how to take it. Mm. So this is patient education here because patients shouldn't have to remember what was told to them at enrollment six months ago. Mm. So we're reminding you how to take that measurement. Sit down, rest for five minutes. So we're not going to respect this, but at least you know it's here. Grab the curve on your hands on the table, exactly what you're doing. You, you're good. Then we launch the measurement. This is gonna be stimulated measurement, so no matter what happens, don't panic. Oh, nice. <laughs> okay, good. Fake measure. Here we go. I <laughs> should not have had that extra tri-tip last night. Exactly. <laughs> All right, so here, you're a patient. Again, this is stimulated measurement. This measurement is high. Uh, 182 over 112. Mm -hmm. Okay? Uh, so what happens at this stage? Um, usually, Katim would pull. What we do on the device, we ask you to take another heart. Mm. Because we know that most of the time, the measurement when it's high, abnormally high, is because the measurement wasn't taken in the right conditions. But when it, when it is actually high, you want to know about it quickly as a captain. So we're gonna ask you to take another one to confirm that that measurement. Mm -hmm. And are those thresholds, is that set by the care team or are you using standard thresholds? How do you set those? Set by the care team at the patient level. That because the... your high is not the same as my yeah. high. Uh, so we, we have different thresholds where you could assign to patients. Perfect. And what, what are some other cool features that you have? You have the education component. Let's talk about the patients in Psycha. So you're taking a measurement. At the end of the measurement, the the device will compute, will compute some questions. Why? Because the other thing we realize is that care teams spend a lot of time asking the same repetitive questions to their patients. But what if we could bring this here at the right moment when the patient is the most engaged mm -hmm. with both his condition and the device? What if we could just add these questions at that time? Mm -hmm. and so if the patient inside feature, the care team will decide a set of questionnaires that you assign per patient uh, to be prompted right on the screen of the device. I think the best example is a high BP. You want to understand why. You're going to ask symptoms. You're going to ask if there is medication at the end. You're going to ask if they took the measurement the right way. And now if you think of a CHF patient, every day you want to know, do you have sharpness on breath today? Uh, do you feel better than yesterday? Do you feel worse than yesterday? All these questions can be pushed right to the patient as customized at the patient level. And why? Why did you choose health to debut the product. Why Why here? Why in Las Vegas? You know, at Westings we've been doing devices for about 16 years. Um, and for 16 years we've developed devices that find their way into the daily life of users. 
So we've had this very user-centric, user-first approach uh, all the time. Today, it's a little bit different. Yes, of course, it's still a device that is bought for users, uh, but it's also designed with and for care teams, with the people that actually care for these patients to help them improve their workflow, train their remote patient monitoring programs. Uh, so it's really for the people that are here today. And all, all these programs here that are caring for patients, we want to help them to gain time, have more meaningful conversation with their patients, um, be more confident on the measurement they're getting, so that ultimately they can scale their remote patient monitoring plans and you know, reach more patients. And those are all the people that are here. Perfect. Hands on, it's been a pleasure. Have a good rest of your show. Sure.